The siege of Monrovia was brutal. Scores of Taylor's young boys died crossing the swamps leading into the city. After a week of heavy fighting, Taylor's offensive stalled in Monrovia's suburbs. Ekomog decided to take the upper hand. The plantation had been turned into a major military installation. Firestone provided the backdrop for this, provided the rear base, the rear guard base, provided the ammunition depot from which ambushes could be set and all of this could, could, could happen. That operation needed to be dismantled. Ekomog set out to destroy Taylor's stronghold on the plantation. We're watching the planes dive and dropping the bombs and pulling up, and, and it, it was just, oh, that's cool. Look at that. Hey, it's a show. It's not going to bother us. We're safe. It reminded me of the Second World War, looking for doodle bugs in the sky. And we would look to see where they were, to um, see possibly where the bombs would land. But you never, you never had an idea of that. You didn't know where they were going to land. And then, just as a group of workers and children had gathered to play a game of soccer, Ekomog jets appeared in the sky. There were guys on the football field playing, and then the next thing we saw, they started releasing bomb. And people started running. And the direction people were running in, that's where we were going, they're releasing bomb. So people's limbs got caught and stuff like that. And then, you know, they were running to the hospital here and there, they were, you know. I mean, it was, it was just terrible. Around 40 people were killed. We got word of it, and Don Wehe immediately uh, jumped in his car with the uh, uh, logistics man, we'll call from Taylor, and they went down there to try to assess the damage and see what happened and settle things down. After witnessing the scene, Way he agreed to a televised interview. It's a devastating experience uh, uh, to witness something like this. I would find it hard to think that what we are engaged in here would have any uh, value other than something uh, that would be to the well-being of the of the world. Akron sent a message. It was time to go yet again. But as he prepared to leave, Wehi wrote a final letter to Taylor. I wish to personally thank you for your kind understanding. I look forward to being able to quickly return to restart our operations. The next day, an official at the U.S. Embassy in Monrovia cabled to Washington describing Wehi's last meeting with the warlord. Taylor said that he was sorry to see Wehi go, that the plantation had been the lifeblood of Greater Liberia. <laughs>